Hey, what is going on guys? Bonnie 36 here and welcome back to another video another reaction video of one of Ch today we're gonna react to another one of Chill's videos this video is called 10 most scary randonautica videos uh, I think it says rand ra randonautica yeah I yeah Scary Randonautica videos. Um, if you don't know, Randonautica is like a scary app where like unknown, unknown situations going, unknown situations, um, um, sending you a, uh, a location, something scary there, I send you a location there. Oh, let's see. All right. We'll play the video. Randonautica is an app where you think of something that you want to see, and this app will give you nearby GPS coordinates to find it. But sometimes they are way more scary than what you were ready for. What? Number 10. A TikTok user by the name of Baddest Bunny on the Block uses Randonautica in search of creepy stuff with a story to tell. The TikTok app takes them to one of the scariest Randonautica finds on this list. By a oh river boy. near a bus station, they find a discarded tarp by a mound of freshly dug earth. Under Dang. the blue tarp is a shredded black trash bag, inside of which they find a shovel and an object covered in red. Before you think they put this here themselves, consider the fact that she calls the police, who take interest in the scene, and actually collect evidence instead of shrugging it off. Based on their reactions, I think she might be onto something. Dang. Number 9. Steve Ronan knows firsthand how scary randonauting can be, and says the Randonautica app is not to be taken lightly based on his experiences. He and Josh tell Randonautica that they want to manifest something dark and twisted in their exact words and let the app tell them where to explore. Through the woods is where they are told to go. Oh my gosh, imagine that. The woods leads them to a pentagram painted no. on a tree, a symbol that's as dark and twisted as it gets and it's oh only the God. beginning. Randonautica takes them to an abandoned house, and the same unexplained light is right there with them. It remains the oh. same size no matter how close they get. The light takes them to the backyard where it goes behind an object at 16 minutes and 50 seconds, so it's not coming from their equipment at all. Also, while they are exploring the area, this ghostly figure appears in the screen window. Tell me if you see it. Oh, it I looks see kind it. of like a face with two hands. While exploring the abandoned house, they see the face of another ghost in the hallway. Oh. At 21 minutes and 29 seconds, oh, that... it's in front of the... Oh, look at that hideous face. Looks like... There's something on the horror movie, like... You know, you don't want to trust this app, right? No. Trailing and looking down, that's when they hear the scariest sounds of all. Using an app called Randonautica? Police calling for them to come out and explain themselves. Number 8. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric relies on Randonautica to show them the scariest place they've ever seen, and it doesn't let them down. They soon find themselves at the end of a long dirt road with multiple signs, and one of them is a warning. Google wasn't able to translate the wording perfectly, but apparently this sign says that the property is owned by a dangerous witch who has eyes on them at all time. It looks like it's Spanish to me. Esta tierra es la bruja de peligro. This, welcome to this earth. This, this is the dangerous witch, um, dark land. My eyes, my eyes looking at quietly. Yeah, I forgot. If someone could tell me the full message, I would really appreciate it. They find two fences lined with creepy dolls. Some of the dolls are burned and have parts missing, as if they were used for black magic rituals before being placed on display as a warning for all to see. This reminds me of it the island have taken with the a dolls lot of in time Mexico. Dedication to collect so many dolls, and I wouldn't be surprised if the children who own them are being kept somewhere nearby. 
at the end of the road, they find three homemade mannequins wearing old clothes that could be scarecrows for a small garden True. or more ritual props. Yes, yeah. Something looks weird about the one on the left. When they get closer, since I don't see any crops, mm -hmm. I don't think it's a garden. The way this is all set up looks more like a memorial, if anything. I wouldn't be surprised if some passed on individuals were buried below the earth here. Tell I me don't about think it. I want to find out. Just a tell me about up it. up the trail, they find this old shack that looks more like a place to hold somebody. Or something creepy like that, rather than a place to live. They are about to explore the shed when they feel distant eyes upon them and go running. I have to say, that seems like the right choice. Number 7. A Pasco Washington couple wants to get really scared, so together they concentrate deeply on huh. finding a human through the Random Nautica app, which takes them to a random dumpster on a hot summer day. They peel back the lid and find a single trash bag that looks full. By now they are sufficiently terrified that they might have actually found something disturbing with Randonautica, and so they close the lid without exploring what's inside. After oh, all, there's no need to call the police if you- What's inside? I'm pretty sure that'd be normal garbages. You don't actually see anything. Number 6. The Everything Paranormal Show gets in on the scary Randonautica video craze and goes randonauting with paranormal creepy stuff in mind. Now, just to let you know, my intent was paranormal creepy stuff. Okay. Now, this is what I mean. The TikTok app takes him to a random address and he waits for some creepy stuff to begin, which it most certainly does. I recognize that apartment so complex. I wanted something creepy. Yeah. This dude's just standing here, freaking staring at me. Before he knows that somebody is standing near his car, they're not moving, just staring him down. Oh, yep, to be I see fair, him. What to him is a creepy man could just be someone wandering who is in their parking space. But even when he leaves, the man is standing completely still, simultaneously staring at nothing in particular and everything all at once. Number five. Wow. Amanda and her friends want to see if oh, that guy's just playing around. Thing. And so they do something clever that I haven't seen in any other Randonautica videos. They write down what they want to see and never say it out loud just in case the app is listening in. They concentrate on finding a rainbow because they think that this object God, dang it. would be the last thing to be able to creep Sorry, them out. Sorry, my cat's just they scaring me. Wrong. Randonautica helps them find this unforgettable experience that has them screaming in their car. It's a multicolored rainbow fence, followed by a real one not too long after. That can't just be a coincidence, right? Number 4. Here's a video that shows how Randonautica can be scary without even trying. A YouTuber named Nolan goes randonauting with his friends in search of the color orange. The app takes them to two orange cones, no problem. Cones. Orange cones. Orange cones. <laughs> They are weirded out but not entirely convinced, so they decide to go random nodding for something more obscure that would be creepier to find, like the number four. So we're doing a number? Yeah, okay. So. Four. Not only do they find the number four prominently etched into a concrete handrail, but Ooh. get this. The yep. location that's given to them to find the number four. Number four. four. Is exactly four <gasps> minutes away. Now they are getting creeped out and concentrate on a color that's hard. This can't be a coincidence. Oh, I am not going to try this app. No. What's wrong with you, TikTok? To find in the countryside at night. The color blue, not only does Randonautica take them to a pack of blue gum, when they go back to their car, they find out they were parked by an empty energy drink with blue lettering this whole time. Oh. Number 3. 
A YouTuber named Mia Cole has what she describes as one of the scariest randonautica experiences ever. That doesn't begin until she's come home from a long day of randonauting. Earlier that day, the TikTok app took her to a location where there was a weird windmill by the woods. She didn't find anything else odd, but this is where something odd might have found her. More than a few people have pointed out how, later that night, a weird pair of glowing eyes appear to be watching me a call from the window. Oh, I see that. It could that. be a cat or something, but if the viewers are correct, it could just as easily be something that followed me a call home from the woods. Something that wants to get in. Number hmm. two. A YouTuber named Jake Carlini and his friends all want to experience creepy randonautica moments, so they summon the scariest thing that comes to mind. Forest clowns. We're all gonna oh. think about clowns. The app takes them random nodding to a scary location in the woods that creeps them out even in broad daylight. A bird calls overhead, but listen closely, and you'll hear creepy noises coming from deeper in the woods. You guys hear that? Circus music, to be precise. I hear circus music. It's not like an ice cream truck would be driving out here, so there's no reason for scary sounds to be playing in the middle of the woods. Nope, they imagine they they seeing that alone, right? Video, but maybe they'll go exploring there again one day. I've got a challenge for you. <sighs> Since you've made it this far, why not oh, like no. this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number one. A YouTuber named Noah DB5 hopes to find creepy haunted places to explore around his campus, and so Randonautica takes him to a nearby cemetery, but not just any cemetery. Oh god, there's more screaming oh. as we're approaching the graveyard. A cemetery with scary screaming noises at night, and later on while exploring a different area, he hears the same scary noises again, this time from deeper within the woods. Okay guys, hold on. I'm not hitting something from the forested area. We're hearing noises right now. I hope it happens again because it's right by the river. So it could put... What is that, dude? This sounds like it could be some kind of wild animal to me, but other people are saying that this could be a mysterious creature like the rake, and that he is most likely being followed. Noah has asked if you would subscribe to his channel and check out his other videos like this one. These are the scariest videos that messed me- Oh, God. Oh, not it goes. No. I would. Um. Oh, what? Should I try it? No. No. No, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's um, that's the top ten most scary random Nautica videos by Chills, and this is and this was my second reaction video. So I hope you all subscribe to my channel, like, comment down what you think. So I'll see you later.